Hello, 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 and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last episode, we made our way here to Lysandra Labs and uh, defeated Lysandra. Now, we should be going on to, uh, hopefully, I'm not exactly sure how we get through this lab. First thing we do need to do is heal up, though. I need to heal up because we are a little battered and we are a little bruised from our fight with the big boss man. But we're going to work our way through labs today, and then we are going to, where is the Pokemon Center? And then hopefully, I think, once we get through that, we should be able to get our Legendary Encounter, which will be fun. Okay, so it's down this Main Street. I don't remember where this is, because last time I just stumbled around forever and could not find this place. Okay, there's the little cafe place. And, is this a Pokemon Center? No, it's not. Uh, is this? Oh, I feel like I'm going way too far away. I feel like if I go this far away, I will lose where I need to be. So, I got I got some beef that I need to talk about, because I was, uh, I mentioned it last episode that I wanted to maybe possibly do, where the heck is another Pokemon Center? Is this one? I, I'm like tilting my head thinking it's going to help me see, there's one. <laughs> I'm like tilting my head around the corner. So, I said in my last, uh, my last video, I was like, you know, I'm thinking about maybe trying to do an itemless run, or like a, and like no in, no in battle items, just because I kind of want to get better at, you know, doing Nuzlocke and all that because I feel like it is a skill and I've actually just come across like the whole like like hardcore community like recently I don't know if it's hardcore is the right word or if it's just like a normal nuzzle I don't really know but it's basically runs where they is this uh is this Lysandra Labs I think it is no it's not oh my goodness where is it I did uh, I did not want to leave oh wait, no I think it's the next one over this is the whole reason I didn't want to go this is the whole reason I didn't want to leave I think it's down one of these little it's this one right here isn't it isn't it right here yeah, it's right here. It's right this one, right? Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so I, I just, I just want to get better, and I've realized that people, like, I didn't know... Like, obviously, I've been watching randomized runs for quite some time. I know, like, vanilla runs where you just do it without anything. But now I realize that there's people doing runs where, like, you you don't use items in battle. And I don't know if you use them. I think it's just in battle you don't use them. Uh, they don't randomize the game. They don't randomize anything. And it's all, it's just how good, and then and they have like a level cap. So it's like, how well do you know the game and how well can you plan for certain like battles? Cause they also play on like set mode. So like you don't have time to know, you don't get to, you don't get to know what the opponent's going to send in. So I kind of like more like a true battle, I feel like in a way. And we're going to slap this thing with a drain punch. And I was, I, I didn't, I didn't know people did like, I didn't like realize that was a thing that people did and people enjoy doing. And so I've been like kind of watching content on that and I was like, you know, as hard as that looks, it looks kind of fun. And I feel like it would make you a better nuz. I mean, really once you randomize something, I feel like all the difficult, not the difficulty, the difficulty gets ramped up because you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what a trainer's going to have. You can't like prepare for anything. The only thing you can prepare for is the levels and making sure you have enough potions and all that stuff because if you need to heal up because you can't prepare for moves, that's like, that's one thing. But... I just found that whole, like, you know, I, like, watch people that, like, they're planning and they're trying to figure out, you know, well, they're going to have this, this person's going to have this, and then they're going to be able, like, it has this moves, so I need to make sure I grab this mon at this route because I can't catch any, like, this, you only get one encounter and my, like, chances of catching it on this route are higher than the other route, and I don't know why, that is just so fascinating to me. Like, I was like, that looks so, oh, we need the elevator key, ooh, that's right, oh, I don't know, I don't even know where to even begin to get that. I don't even know where you go to even get one of those. So I'll probably look that up real fast. Uh, Cause I'm really just in the mood to progress today. And I really just want to get to, uh, I want to get through this. I want to do some battles. I want to level up. And I also will probably look up, uh, let's see. This is the Lysandra lab key. All right, hold my thoughts. I'll see you guys momentarily. Okay, never mind. Oh, I thought we, for some reason I thought that we were gonna have to leave. And like, I thought it was one of the scientists we met on our journey. So like, Someone that was like, we're gonna have to go back and find them like throughout the world. They're in the labs. It makes that makes much more sense than having to go and wander around and try to find things. But yeah, so I just I just find it interesting that like that's like a whole that's like a whole nether play style, a way to enjoy the game. Cause you really get to get to know the game and figure out like I don't know, I feel like it just makes you a, it makes you a better nuzlocker for sure. And I feel like, like I said, even though once you kind of randomize everything, all that goes out the window, I feel like it'd still help. I feel like it might add a little bit more entertainment value, right, to just how good you are at the game, but also, like, having to watch someone who could, who knows the game, right, have to be thrown through the whole loop of not being, not being able to predict or not being able to know what's going to come next. So, I, I don't know. That's what I'm kind of thinking. It might be kind of fun to, like, slowly kind of work my way up to, like, doing something like that. So, maybe, like, at first, 
maybe keeping battle items on and keeping uh, like the Nuzlocke factor to it, but maybe changing it to set mode and just seeing how like a run like that goes. And then once I could do one of those, once I could complete one of those without you know completely getting bodied, then maybe I do an Islandless run. But like when back in Switch, and then after that I can combine them or something. Like, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking, like I don't know. I just want to do something a little bit. I mean, this is challenging. Don't get me wrong. This is this is already hard as it is. But something a little different that challenges me in a different way. I feel like would be kind of fun. All right. So a Pineco is gonna come out here. Let's go back into BB. We're gonna go for the fake out U-turn combo. I don't know. I kind of like want to do them on streams and stuff. But this all started because <laughs> I said this whole conversation started because. I said I had some beef, and I have beef with the randomizers, because I have been playing on my own just a little bit. Uh, I've actually tried to do three different runs, <laughs> maybe four. I think it might be four. In the last like, the last like four, like 24 hours, mind you, because I was like, you know what? I just want something a little different. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna watch some, you know, watch my friend's content, and then you know, play my own randomizer while I'm doing it. And I have gotten the worst RNG that I have ever seen anyone ever, like, in these, like, the runs, when I when I press record, my luck is, it's it's all right, it's not bad. You know, knock on wood, it's not terrible. The second I was playing about, like, playing on my own, my starters, absolute garbage. My encounters, Ninkata was my first one for my first run. The second time, a Ninjas. The third time, another Ninkata. I was like, what is going on? And then I was fighting mons that would have Shadow Tag, or they have an Arena Trap, and like, the, the, uh, the gym leaders would have mods that completely body my team, even if I was at the appropriate level. And I was like, dude, this, I, I was actually getting mad. I was starting to get tilted. <laughs> so I, I, like, I had to put it down. And I was like, you know what? This is, this is ridiculous. So I'm trying to get, I'm on my, I think I'm on my fifth. This is my fifth different, uh, run. I was doing Soul Silver, and then I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. This is, this is pissing me off so bad. So I'm doing white 2 now on my own. We'll see how it goes. I already almost got bodied by something, but I actually started with an Octillery. And let me tell you, an Octillery is not bad. Octillery is pretty dang good when it comes to, like, a Nuzlocke factor. It gets so much coverage, and I forgot how much coverage Octillery actually gets. It's kind of wild. It's a little bit wild. Let me know. If you're like me and you do randomizers, like, on your, like, just Nuzlocke's in general, I don't care, even if not randomizers, just Nuzlocke's in general on your own. Have you been doing any lately, and have you had any terrible luck? I know there's a couple people who watch this video who actually are content creators who just <laughs> kind of get bo who got bodied uh, got bodied yesterday. I'm looking at you, lad. I'm looking at you, buddy. But you know, sometimes sometimes the luck just blows the wrong way. Sometimes it goes north instead of south, and you just kind of you just get screwed. All right, uh, I think we're just gonna stay in here. Actually, no, I kind of wanted to go into uh, BB there, but that's okay. I think we'll just go for the steamroller anyway. But yeah, let me know. Let me know if you've got any, or if anything, I you know, like recently, or like your old time, like greatest, just absolute f you from a randomizer or a nuzlocke run has ever given you. Let me know. I want. I want to hear it. I feel like we've all had an experience where like we're doing good, we're doing great. Like, for example, my last run. My last run, I got all the way to uh, Whitney. That's her name, right? Whitney. With the, uh, the uh, big ol' uh, mill tank. I was doing great. I had a Jirachi as my starter. I had a good, nice, balanced team. And I run into a Spirit Tomb. Well, my nice, balanced team could not touch the Spirit Tomb. And it just absolutely destroyed my run. And I was pissed. I was so mad. I just struggled down to Jirachi. And uh, I had nothing left. Let's go into BB here. I'm just going to fake out because I kind of forgot what she was sending out. And I had to struggle, and I died. The Spirit Tomb had like three HP left, and I, <laughs> I probably said some words that I had not said in quite some time. I was very angry. I was very angry, and I had like no, I was like no pressure, not live, nothing. Like it was just. Oh wait, they protected themselves. That's fun. Okay, let's get out of here then. Let's you uh, turn ourselves out. Shows for protect again. My goodness. Well, while you're protecting, I'm gonna grab some water. Protect. Why you gotta go for, well, I think she's going for protect again and she's gonna get it. Okay, she doesn't go for protect, that's perfect. Oh yeah, I was just, it has not been good for my solo runs right now, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Uh, all right. Who do we wanna go into? It's a little Burmy. I don't know why I'm thinking this hard for a Burmy, but I'm just kinda scared. I'm just kinda scared of everything right now. My last couple, my my recent encounters with Nuzlocke have just been, have just not been okay. Goes for the hidden power, which is gonna be hidden power fighting. No, nope. Or fire, I meant to say fire, I'm sorry. Let's go for steamroller here. 
Can you stop going for protect? Why go for protect? There's no reason. You have no reason. Are you part rock? I feel like you're part rock. We miss. Okay, so that was probably the worst thing we could have done. Okay, that's just gonna continue to make this per- Oh, wait. We need to be uh, on there. There we go. Can you stop going for- It's literally not doing anything for you. Please. Please take- Latin, please take this thing out. Please, for the love of God. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna stop on one. I was like, are you serious? But yeah, it's actually been, like, really exciting. It's been really, like, I've been really thinking about what I want to do next. And I think I'll always do randomizers because I love the variety that you get. And I can always do, you know, a variety of, like, you know, randomizers without items or in set mode or all things. Like I think a randomizer Nuzlocke in set mode would be kind of wild. Like, that would be difficult because then you'd have to be, like, obviously you have no time to really react. You're going to have to switch something in. So you got to really make sure your team is leveled up. But you also got to make sure that you have a good core of mons that can, you know, deal with as many threats as you can possibly think of. And have a plan to like, well, if I encounter this type, I gotta be able to have something to rotate in and be able to take a hit. So I don't know. I think that's that sounds fun to me. That just sounds kind of fun. It might be something I stream, maybe at first, and then you know, as I get better, maybe try to do some like actual series with it. I'm not really sure. I don't know, but it was just it's been an exciting like, it's exciting that like when you have new doors open up, whether it's you know with content or just like in life in general, like. Having new doors open up is always an exciting thing. And, like, this has been something, like, I didn't even realize this kind of, like, these kind of runs and this kind of, like, community around those runs even existed. Like, I didn't realize that was a thing that, like, people did. I just thought, like, randomizers and, like, people might do, like, normal Nuzlocks, but I kind of thought the time for, like, doing normal Nuzlocks was kind of past us, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, like, when the Nuzlocks were first a thing, a couple, like, you know, ten years ago, whenever they started... Like, everyone was like, oh, dude, this is wild. But now, you know, we got, everyone's got randomizers and egg locks and wonder locks and all this other stuff going on. So, you know, but I, the people, like, I, people still enjoy it. And actually, to be honest, like, just playing the base game, not randomized, does sound, it does, it just does it not sound, it kind of sounds fun. It just does. I don't know why. All right, I think, did we go in the yellow one? Let's go on, or we went in the green one last time. Let's go in the yellow one this time. Okay, no, the yellow one is not the one we want to go on. So maybe we need to go on the green one. Do we need to go in the green one, or these both make us go back and we need to go? I think there's another tile down below in the bottom left corner. Okay, no, that's this one. All right, but this is where we needed to be, I think. Maybe? Possibly? Uh, we haven't fought... Did we fight this person yet? I don't think we did. All right, let's... Uh, okay, maybe we're still good on health, but I do want to heal George and Sure up, so if we need to switch into them, uh, we'll be okay to do so. So let's do that real fast. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what lies in store. I'm currently getting some art done, or I guess kind of uh, expanded upon. I got some art done originally, and I was like, I liked it, but at the same time, like I don't think what I was trying to tell them, like my artist, and they did a great job. Like they did. I don't mean to, like slight my artist in the slightest because they did great, but I don't think they exactly understood what I was trying to get. But uh, still stuff I could use. But I'm definitely I kind of get it redone, so it's gonna be super fun to kind of see uh, where it goes from there, and then. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited. Things are rolling. It's 2021 and things are rolling. Things are rolling. Okay. Uh, we got a carbon gown here. Let's go ahead and use the fake out. I know it's not going to do a lot of damage. That's okay. I'm not worried about damage right now. This thing is part fairy. I want to get out of here. I think it's rock fairy if I'm not mistaken. But that's like my thing. Like I also like Whenever, like, I get something commissioned or, like, something just, like, work for me, I kind of take it back to, like, when I'm, a, like, when I do, when I'm coaching, for example. If, like, the kids don't understand what I'm trying to tell them, it's not their fault. It's my fault for not being clear enough. And, like, that was my thing. So, it's, like, I'm excited to kind of see. Because now I'll have also, you know, worst case, like, I get two, I'll have two things of kind of the same, or two versions of the same art that, I, like, I can kind of you know, bounce in between and stuff. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it because I think we're going to be able... Obviously, it's not going to, like... Art doesn't make it define your channel, but it definitely... It's cool. It's cool to have. It's kind of fun. So, I'm really excited to have. So, be on the lookout for that. Hopefully, in the next couple days, we'll get that rolling. So, that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. I'm just excited for everything right now. It's January. We're doing well. Things are rolling. All right. We got a Ludicolo coming out now. And I'm going to go... I'm just going to go... I mean, it's just... It's really hard to pass up the opportunity to go into BB, use a fake out, use a U-turn, or stay in and go for a drain punch or something like that if we need to. Or, like, you know, use detect if we want to kind of scout what this person is going to do. But, I mean, right here, I think I'm just going to go for the U-turn. I'm going to save my fake outs. We only have two of them. I don't know if we have any ethers. The Ludicolo is 
almost gonna get taken out. We're just gonna barely miss the KO there. And I should have gone, well, we went back to the, dang it. I was needed to get, uh, what's her face? Gardenia out of the PC, but I did not do that. Let's go into George. And the other thing also is I definitely want to keep, I need to watch my levels in this game. Because I don't want to get too overleveled, like I kind of mentioned also last episode. I want to make sure that we stay at a decent level so we don't get, uh, obviously, like, I want to get overleveled because then it's just not interesting. It's like, you know, when you walk into a battle, it's like, oh, well, he's level 50, but I'm level 65. You know, what's the fun in that? But I also don't want to get to the point where I'm like, I'm going to be three levels underleveled and get, you know, destroyed by something where I could have held my own and maybe would have came down if I could make the right play. If I was just the right level. Oh, she wants to learn to he heavy slam. Yo, good night, fairy type. So let's go. Let's get rid of body slam here. I think it's time we part ways with the body slam. Honestly, we really haven't used it. I kind of thought I might keep it for the paralysis factor, but we just haven't haven't really taken advantage of that. Just have not taken advantage of that. But I think anyone that's kind of made content or like has a channel or even not like you might have something else going on in your life, but like when you start something up and it's like kind of your own and like you get a chance to kind of, oh, are these guys bad? Are these guys actually bad? Like, you, have you seen anything? Like, you get start something like something that's your own, and then you're starting to kind of like be able to put more like personal touch on it and being able to kind of move it in a direction that excites you. I think that just, I don't know, that's just super exciting to me. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. So, yeah, that's just kind of where I am right now. You know, life has its ups and downs. But right now, this is uh, def definitely one of the uh, one of the ups. It's just so much fun. It's like, honestly, it's a stress reliever for me. Like recording and doing this kind of stuff, making content. It's just fun. And I'm learning a lot too. I get to learn. Every time I make a video, I learn something different. I learn what it's about, you know, audio. What it's about my editing. What it's about like my layouts. I'm like, oh, you know what? For next series, I want to do this. <laughs> or I want to make sure I have my files like set up like this. Instead of like, because I'm making this a big pain in my butt when I don't need it to be. I don't know. It's just fun. It's fun learning. Fun growing. Getting better understanding of things that I never thought I would ever have an understanding of. Like I never thought I'd have any sort of any sort of understanding of what it meant to like make a video and have it like make a YouTube channel, make a video, make gaming, like any kind of content in general. Like it was, you know, I was, I was sports and I was medicine. That was, that was my path. <laughs> that was my path for a while. And I, I got to go like, you know, I kind of got like to deviate and go down a different one. So that's, I don't know. It's kind of fun. It's just a fun time. All right, we're going to go for the heavy slam and we should, yeah, this thing, I, I feel like heavy slam with Snorlax's attack stat and his weight should be smashing into things. Should be absolutely crushing just about everything we come into contact with. And uh, I think we'll just stay in here. We're not going to go into hype. There's no reason to. We're not going to really use hype. I don't plan on using hype. I really need to get uh, Gardenia out of the PC, but I don't want to go back because <laughs> I keep getting lost in this dang city. Uh, I keep like losing where Lysandra Labs is, so I don't want to. I don't want to leave it. I don't want to leave and have to wander back. I'll probably. I would have just cut it out of the video, but who wants to do that? I don't want to do that right now. Ah, it's not something I feel like doing. All right, well, so it's unfortunate. This all looks the same, so I'm like not really sure. Like, I'm like, I think we're going the right way because we're battling all these different grunts, but I don't know if it's the actual right way. I'm assuming it is, but we need to find another scientist. A Masquerade is going to come onto the field. You know, I feel like Masquerade's actually not that bad of a Pokemon. I really don't feel like it's a bad mod at all. Let's go for a U-turn. Let's get out of here, though, because there are flying-type uh, possibilities with this Pokemon, so I don't want to be in here and get slapped. That would be unfortunate. And I think we just... I know, I just I'm really loving George right now, coming in. Heavy, heavy smashing things. Ooh. Almost out of water. That's unfortunate. Tis unfortunate. No, I hydrate pretty well throughout the day. And then the second I sit down and start record vid like recording like videos or on my stream or whatever, I think it's just because I was like, I feel like everyone has like a recording voice. Maybe a talking voice is a little different. Like your everyday average talking voice is a little different than like your recording voice. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I feel like it like it demands more of your vocal cords. And I feel like maybe that's why, like, I just sit down and I'm like, I feel like I need to take a sip after every other sentence. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what's going on. I'm just here. I'm just a human. A human doing, doing human things. All right, we have a cloud nine, a gold, oh, that's not, that's not a random. That's not random. I keep forgetting I didn't, I know there's a way you can probably go back into the file and edit it. I just don't know how to do it. I'm also, like, terrified of messing it up and then ruining my game because we're already so far, we're like, we're really close. We're at the seventh gym badge. We get, uh, you know, one more than onto the Elite Four. So that's, you know, that's, we're almost there. We're getting there, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. It's crazy to think, 
at least to me, like, oh, what's, that makes this a water type, that makes this a water type, okay, I don't know, if you switch out, does that go away, goes for psych up, interesting, interesting choice, gold duck, interesting choice, I feel like it does, regardless, this should still do, that's, I, you know, it's not very effective, oh, you're psychic type, that's right, let's go for a crunch here, goes for another psych up, that is nothing, yeah, there's no, there, there is no water left in that cup, it is all gone. It is all gone. I forgot what I was... I was gonna make a point. And then I forgot it. Hmm. And I'll come back to me at some point, probably. <laughs> uh, that's a good stream of consciousness there. Love it. You gotta love it. Alright. Uh, can we get up to that green... No, we are... Looks like there's a door that maybe would, like, pop us out of that green portal. Or we need to get to that portal. I bet you it's probably the end. That's probably where we want to end up. If we shoot ourselves over there no it's not the best thing to do let's try i guess we'll go ahead going this way and see what happens we'll see where the spinning tiles take us wow this seems unnecessary uh i guess is this where i wanted to be i feel like it's not but maybe it is there's a door right here let's go through it can you can't not go through oh okay hold on hold on this looks like it might be like a a 12 mon battle which is going to be uh, tough for us because we only really have five usable mons uh, If we can make it out of this lab uh, You know in one piece We're definitely gonna need to grind. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely grind up We'll get gardenia from the box and we'll grind her up to a salamance. Well, not probably to a salamance, but at least level 50 I feel like it's kind of where our levels are at. What's where this it seems like our opponents are kind of getting close to that as well Oh, is this gonna be double battle? Huh? 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 I've seen this kid somewhere before. Who is he? I have no idea, but obviously he's not in Team Flare. Let's get him. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay, so, are they going one at a time? They are going one at a time. Okay, well, they still gotta take on 12 Mons, but at least it's not at one time. We got three important battles today. That's a lot. You know, it's also kind of, it's hard to stay at this, like, at a decent level without switching out your team a whole bunch when you have, uh... I mean, when you're doing, you know, all these important battles have six mons. Like, even if it's not every trainer, when you have every important battle having six mons, especially in this game, I feel like, there's a lot of rival battles, there's a lot of team flare battles that, like, are considered important. It's kind of hard to stay at the level that you need to be. I guess also when you die, <laughs> when you die like I did and almost and lose everyone except for one Pokemon, have to grind everybody up and have to grind multiple times and everyone else gets experience. It's a bit hard. It's hard to stay at, the, uh, at an appropriate level, but when these levels are 48, if these were, uh, like, more advanced, more evolved mons, we would definitely be having to think a little bit. But these first two are not bad. We do get to flinch, which is awesome. Let's go for another steamroller here. Does seem kind of redundant. A little bit overkill, you could say. Uh, but we're going to go for it regardless. We're going to go for it either way. All right. Latin's going to go to almost level 52. And a Tortuga. Tortuga is going to come out. And you know, I feel like BB here, the nice little drain punch action, will be a good uh, will be a good bet. Oh, you know what? Oh, I have a Gatorade. Hey, not sponsored. <laughs> Gatorade. I love Gatorade. I actually learned this thing, and I'm actually gonna do it right now. Cause actually, how much water? No, I got a little bit of water left. So, what I used to do in college, like I kind of learned this as a uh, just from like playing sports and stuff. It's like, obviously, I don't think a lot of people realize how much sugar is actually in like these sports streams, like or sports drinks, I'm sorry, like Gatorade and stuff. Unless you get like, well, like, actually, I don't know if there, is there zero sugar Gatorade? I don't think there is. No, there probably is, it probably tastes like crap. But, like there's a whole bunch of sugar, but if you do like half, so hear me out here, if you do half, let's, ooh, let's do this. I don't feel like waste, let's go for U-turn. This thing, I should kill from here. You do half water, half Gatorade, or Powerade, or whatever your sports drink of choice is, you get, like your hydration from all your like your water and stuff, but you also get like a lot less sugar because you're not drinking a full thing of the sports drink. You're actually drinking water with it. It does a better job of hydrating you. At least I think. I feel better hydrated. It more hydrated, better, better hydrated after I do something like that. Let's go into, uh, let's go into shirt here. I want to see. Obviously, we're gonna know what they sent in, so we can kind of switch out and uh, proceed that way. Pan Sage. Actually, we're perfect. We'll stay in. Look at that, we just, oh wait, no, I thought that was, I don't know why I thought Pan Sage was the fire type. I was wrong. Uh, all right, well, let's switch out into Latin then. I thought that was the fire, I don't know why I thought Sage was fire. What is, what is the fire type? I don't even remember what the fire type is. 
The monkeys just do not stick out in my head very well. They are not very memorable. Alright, so if we're not forced into this next battle, we'll probably end things after this. Uh, it just depends. I don't know if it's going to be like an immediate thing or if we're going to get time to kind of heal up. We'll find out. But this, this has been a, lots of battling today. Lots of fighting, which I love. I love the battles. They make your brain move. Unless when you lose mons, and I don't like the battles. <laughs> a Bergmite is going to come out. Let's go into BB here. Dude, I want a Bergmite. I want a Bergmite. I want one so bad. Look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. I wish he kind of looked more like... I don't know. Avalug is just a, such a weird mod. I still want one. I still want to use an Avalug at some point. Well, here comes the Blizzard. BB's a little on the frail side, but she takes that pretty well. That's what I like to see. And then we'll just go for... We'll go for the U-turn. We'll get out of here. I also want to obviously save the Drain Punches as much as we can. Don't want to use too many of them. I feel like at some point we're bound to get healed up by either one of our rivals getting into the lab. Maybe like Serena. Uh, let's go into George. Obviously, we'll get to know what they're sending in so we can switch out. Uh, it's about to send in Cactnea. Uh, we'll just, I think we'll just stay in here. I think we'll just stay in. And we'll go for the Heavy Slam and take this thing out. Ooh, there's the Needle Arm. Hello. We're getting flinched again. Are we gonna get flinched again? No, we don't. Okay, good. Here comes the Heavy Slam. And that, yeah, that little cactus boy is not taking that. All right, perfect, wonderful. You beat us good. Wow, we are so lame. Oh, at least they're self-aware. At least they're self-aware of it. Okay, ooh, what a brute. Look at poor Silosa. Okay, we have to jump right into this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. We're getting a longer episode today. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. If you've made it this far, just put... Just put hashtag MVP. Don't, don't even hashtag. Just put MVP down below because honestly, the average views on like the average view time of my videos is around 15 to 17 minutes. So if you're if you're down to the, you know the 29, the 28, 29 minute mark, half an hour mark, you mean a lot. You 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 are a special kind of something. Meganium goes down with a beautiful combo, and it was a crit. BB coming through. BB coming through. All right. Maybe he's going to go to level 54. That's what you like to see. And, um, hmm. I didn't really see who you're... Oh, actually, let's send in... Let's just send in Latin here. We'll see what this uh, admin wants to send in. I don't want to speed up through these battles. I even know I know we're going to be... It's going to be a longer episode today. I really don't want to speed through it because you just don't know what's going to happen. A swoobat. Actually, I mean, I kind of could speed up through this, but... Whatever. Whatever. You never know, the swoobat could pop out of here and start thunderbolting things left and right. Alright, let's go for the Ice Fang here. This should be, if it's not a one-shot kill, it should most definitely be a two-shot kill. And a future site, I need to remember that it happened. Uh, that's definitely something that I would forget and then not heal up when I needed to and lose a mod. So, goes for in Denver. In Denver. Ooh, wow. Sure is gone. I think the future site, oh, that is so unfortunate. I think Future Sight hits right here. I think it hits right here. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. Uh, who's taking Future Sight the best? Probably probably George. Plus, we can heal up. I don't know if it's going to hit this turn or if it's next turn. Was it one turn? Was that considered one turn or two turns? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. All right. Look how it comes onto the field. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to heal out just to be safe because I really do not want to get slapped by something and then lose George to a future site. That'd be very unfortunate. That was close. That was scary. I thought that I thought that move did more if you had like a status ailment. Not if you got hit really hard though, like prior, you know, the prior turn. That's unfortunate. Okay, there's a future site attack and we eat that up. That's what I like to see. And can we... Here we go. Let's go for... I'm just going to go for the heavy slam. Why not? Why not? He's a big boy. You might as well go for it. I'm gonna squish this little uh, little lily pad boy underneath us. Oh, we do not take it out. Very interesting. Not very effective. I guess that makes sense. Rain dish. Look at the strats. Look at the strats here. Rain team. Come on now. Let's go for the return. Ball beam. All right. We're gonna speed up just a little bit. We are facing some lower, 
lower tier mods. A Psyduck is going to come out. We're going to stay in. I am going to heal up, though. I'm not going to underestimate the power of the duck. You never underestimate the ducks. What did it go for? I went for soak. Interesting. All right, and then let's uh, let's sit here. Let's go for crunch. And can we maybe almost one shot? Well, not one shot. I mean, not really close to almost one shotting, but definitely two shotting, which is always nice. What else you got for us? Uh, oh, this is that's uh, this is the grass type. This is the grass type. Remember this. Oh, some is Seer is the fire type. That's what it is. All right, let's go for the steamroller. There we go. I remember my monkeys. I remember my monkeys. The monkeys are adorable. There's this little monkey I watch on TikTok. I think his name is George the Monkey. And he's absolutely adorable. Ooh, Shuckle is going to come out. Shuckle. Uh, ooh. Let's go into BB here. Shuckle always makes me think because I've seen Shuckle in action. You don't mess with Shuckle. Let's go for a fake out. I want to get the extra damage on this thing. Perfect. Not a lot, I know. You are part rock. Let's go for a drain punch. Does a decent amount. Goes for the rock slide. It's not going to do a lot. Okay, I think we should be okay. I think we should be alright here. Ooh, it boosted something. Boosted its attack or something. It didn't really matter. Shuckle goes down. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. Perfect. We're done. We're done. As long as we don't get thrown into a third battle here, I believe that wraps up all the... A lot of important battles. You gotta, um... I know why. You're here for answers. I suppose we're at your mercy. I'll tell you what I know at least. We've been using electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon, but it's not like that's all we'll need it to... All we'll need to use it. Are you following me? We'll need the energy absorbed from Pokemon to power the device. Yes, it is the stones on Route 10 that will steal the energy for us and power the old weapon. In reality, those stones in line on Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. Oh my goodness. That is awful. <laughs> when the ultimate weapon was used to end the horrible war, war over 3,000 years ago, it still lies with all those Pokemon. Their lives were the price of peace then. We want to make it our own wishes come true today. Then we in Team Flare also must have to sacrifice something precious. That's messed up, dude. I kind of want a game that goes 3,000 years in the past and like it, like explores that. Like, I want to I want to know what happened. I want more lore. I want more information on this. But with that, we are going to end the video. If you enjoyed me, you know, hold up, hit that like button, let the comment, consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, just have a good morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you when watching this video. Just make it the best it can possibly be, and I will see you tomorrow.